We may look smart, but we're not real professors. <laughs> Don't let the mustache fool you. That's right. <laughs> uh, some good outtakes. Hey, welcome back. You're here with Elemental Craft. I'm Brian, as always with me, Ian of Beer Garden. Howdy. And uh, we're going to get you some fancy lawnmower beers today with your six-pack of the week. Uh, we're going to dive into some crisp, delicious, golden, colchy, yeasty, bready, malty goodness. Yeah. Pretty much describes all of them. So uh, we're going to start all off with kind of my favorite, the... Uh, Fruit Kolsch from uh, Köln, Germany. No, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course it is. No. Uh, product of Germany, out of Köln. Köln? Cologne? Köln? Köln? It's so weird. It's it's two different names, and I can never... What's can like never the difference the... between Munich and Neukin? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, there, there you go. I guess. But... Uh, you know, we, we, we talk about craft, we have a lot of Americanized versions here, but, you know, so much goes back to the roots, and we want to kind of educate you about some uh, imports, and, and unfortunately they're called imports, right? I mean, it's, a, yeah. it's kind of a sad moniker, but it's kind of a bad rap, but it's a great style. You're never going to get exactly what is over in Germany, or foreign countries, unfortunately, because after they ship it over, this is a little tiny bit of its luster. Yeah, it's not quite as fresh as it would be if you were to try it at the source. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably at least a month old by the time it gets here. Yeah. And then, you know, by the time it makes its way through the distribution channels uh, to the shelf, yeah. and several more weeks, and that's if you, uh, if they were to pick it up once it was freshly brewed, which mm -hmm. there's a chance that it could sit on a, a loading dock in, uh, a foreign country for weeks yeah. or months before it even makes its way here, but yeah. um, you only got one six pack on the shelf right now, so it's true. Be going too pretty decent. <laughs> once uh, we actually got this beer in, I had a lady call me up and she ordered eight cases of it for her husband oh. because it's his favorite beer from when he was stationed in Germany. There you go. So if that tells you anything, there you go. Yeah, um, <clears throat> cultures are going to be <clears throat> excuse me, cultures and golden nails and whatnot that we have here today are going to be. You're kind of relaxing, drinking beers. You know, there's going to be some similarities to Pilsner's. Yeah, um, definitely. But these are going to have a better yeasty character to them, a little yeah. more estery fruitiness to it. Not quite as dry as a Pilsner. There you go. So, uh, fruit. Uh, sometimes you can find Gaffel is the other kind of more prominent. Apparently, it's more hoppier version uh, in the States here. Uh, but this is going to be the most dominant one, uh, at least we see it here in Oklahoma that I know of. Um, so moving on, we have the California Kolsch from Ballast Point, uh, another just classic Americanized style. You may get a little bit more alcohol on this. This is going to be a 5.2% compared to Fruz, probably about 4.8, I think I saw. Um, so more Americanized styles are going to be a little bit more, maybe a little bit more hoppier, maybe a little bit more um, heavier alcohol-wise yeah. with the malts. Um, but still a very decent beer uh, to compared to a uh, foreign style. Yeah. Next we have the Black Mesa Mountain Boomer Kolsch style ale, mm -hmm. which uh, this is probably my favorite of their uh, like standard run beers. Yeah. It's and, the first beer they came out with, yeah. I believe. And uh, they've gone from bottles the, to now the cans. They've gone from calling it a blonde yeah. to it, when it really is a Kolsch, but they figured, you know, blonde's gonna sell better. In, in, in the market, but um, they've, they've gone back to what the real true style is, is yeah. the Kolsch, and uh, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy that there are six-pack cans now here in the state. Yeah. In the and they state. changed the name, so if you yeah. see it on the shelf in four-pack bottles, it's the same beer, the same recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, I prefer the cans, though, and cans are going to be fresher. This is going to be perfect for that next lawnmower. One day, you got a headache here in August. Um, so moving on over, we're going to get a little bit outside of the cultures now. Uh, got Renaissance Gold from uh, Renaissance Brewing here in Tulsa. Yeah. And uh, this is a pretty solid. This is more of a German style gold nail. So you can have a little bit more brighter, sweeter malt characteristics out of that than your uh, Kolsch. 
Um, but 16 ounce cans, can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a, it's higher on the alcohol spectrum than some of the others. It's five and a half percent. So, mm -hmm. uh, especially in a 16 ounce can, it'll be a nice way to cool off after mowing the lawn. Yeah. Um, we also have here uh, Bitter Sisters. Uh, uh, they are in Texas, but I believe the owners are from Oklahoma City area. Yep. Okay. And uh, so they've got, uh, I think they just went through a whole new rebrand and packaging, and now that I think this is the first time we're actually seeing their cans. On yeah, the they've uh, they poured at lots of the Oklahoma festivals, mm -hmm. and this is the first time that they've been available in package in Oklahoma. It was yeah. always draft before. Yeah, this is born in Oklahoma, brewed in Texas. That's got to cause some stir, stir up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is more of a German style Hellas. Um, you know, culture in this state is kind of hard to come by yeah. um, with our varieties. But um, we're picking these beers, again, with the title, Fancy Longmore Beers. Yeah. Um, you know, this German house is going to be light and sweet. Uh, this one has some of those yeah. fruit, fruity esters from the east. Okay. I had this one uh, just the other day. Again, almost 6% alcohol, yeah. so a little heavier on the body uh, and a little heavier on the tummy. But... <laughs> Uh, last but not least, one of my favorites um, from Clown Shoes, uh, Mango American Kolsch. Um, I mean, what more can you say with the base of that Kolsch lending some nice tropical fruits of the mango? It just it works so well. It's really good. Um, just with being a six pack cans uh, and good price point as well. Yeah. Um, I know we don't talk too much about pricing here, but uh, Ian's got some of the most competitors in the state. Uh, so be it. Full hardy not to come in and get a six pack. A lot of these times, these are uh, going to be on your pick six wall as well. Yeah, we like to mix it up and keep some uh, uh, beers that are relative to the weather that we're experiencing mm -hmm. in Oklahoma. So, right now, we've got a lot of uh, pale ales, IPAs, and some of the lighter styles. Yeah. And then, you know, once we get into fall, we'll throw in the Marzins, the Oktoberfests, and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for our word for the day, uh, it's actually going to be stange. Stange. Yeah, it's uh, a tall cylindrical glass that you typically serve uh, cold beers in okay. overseas. Uh, Is that the same glass that a Pilsner is served in? No, it's quite different. It's because um, some of the Pilsners flare up at the top a little bit. Okay. These are straight, pure cylinder, about, I don't know, two and a half, three inches in diameter, maybe some, some smaller. Um, but over in uh, Cologne, they they will continue serving you uh, colch and, and stanges until you put your coaster on top to tell them that you're done. And they keep track of them with little pins, uh, or pin marks, uh, to see how many. So you can rack them up pretty easily with yeah. <laughs> low alcohol and, and how easy it is to drink on a hot day. So, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's been your six pack of the week. Uh, I'm Brian from Beers OK. Make sure you go to beersok.com for all of our apparel, headwear, and whatnot. OklahomaCraftBeer.com for the blog podcast and these videos also subscribe below and uh send us a comment or uh what do you want us to review next time uh could be some red ales or i don't know if there's a lot of stuff behind us that we haven't even touched yet so uh give us some comments and uh if we pick one of yours we'll send you some swag um and ian where can they find you out here so we're uh, just across the uh 96th street bridge and jinx uh, 807 East A Street, uh, beergardenjinx.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can see all of our beers that we have in stock on Untapped if you follow us there. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that's it for this week. Until next time, come in, get your six pack, drink it all, forget it, come back next week and get some more. All right. So class is dismissed. <laughs>